Hello, Bear Creek Church boys and girls. It's Bowie and his assistant, Pastor Dale. Today, we're going to visit a lavender farm in the Applegate. I'm glad that you're here to join us. Our adventure began at my house. Hey, buddy, you want to go to the lavender farm? I go to the lavender farm. See your friend Zoe and jump in the river. Well, now I'm out here in the lavender fields with Mike Lowry. Mike and his wife, Sherry, own Lavender Fields Forever here near Roosh. And we're in the middle of all these plants. Mike, what can you tell us about lavender? Well, out here at the lavender farm, we have a little over one acre planted with 1,000 plants. And of those 1,000 plants, lavender plants, there are seven different varieties of lavender. So right now, as you see it, it's, it's very green, but still short. And as it comes out of its dormancy, the, the plant grows and then it'll send its stems out and its flowers. And it's the flowers that kind of give lavender all its, all its glory. And like I said, we have seven different varieties. Some are for culinary use. Some are for aromatic use. The culinary, we use the oil for cooking. And the aromatic we use for the essential oil that is um, commonly known as as the lavender oil and so that's maybe what you use in the infuser or in your laundry and it's also what we use to make many of the products out here on the farm now we're out here in the first week of may when will these begin to bloom and when will they be at the height of their bloom so the lavender blooming season is the end of june july and august and then probably about the middle of august and the early part of september we will harvest um, whatever is not selected or picked during the lavender season the farm is open to the public from june 12th until august um, 15th and during that time we'll have visitors come out and they will you pick and they'll pick bundles of lavender to take home or they can visit the lavender store and select some of our products to take home as well Fun. So it's a really fun place to visit. People can come out here for free and just wander through the lavender, enjoy the aromatic scents. Um, in the middle of the, the flowering season, we'll actually have a lot of bees out here as well. And so because we have about a thousand plants, there was somebody out here a few years back and they said we had about 30 bees per plant. So at the height of the season, we have about 30,000 bees visiting the lavender farm as well as all the people. Wow, that sounds like a real buzzy, busy activity. Well, you certainly have a very beautiful place, and I know from experience that it's a fun place to visit. All right, Mike, why don't you explain what happens here? Well, we're in the barn now, and this is the lavender still, and this is the machinery that is used to separate the oil from the lavender flowers into the, the lavender oil for the products that we use. So during harvest season, we take the flowers and we cut them off and we put them into the basket. Um, and we put the basket into the steamer. And so steam comes up through the flowers, goes through the copper tubing, through a cooler condenser. Steam condenses back to water and goes into this water separator. And so we get the oil in the water in this glass beaker that's seen down here behind Pastor Dale. So the oil from the flower comes out of here. Correct, and then we separate that, we pull the, we draw the water off and it leaves the oil. And so at that point we can separate and we get just the condensed oil from the lavender plant. And that's what you use to make cool stuff. That's what we use and at that point we use both the culinary oil and the aromatic oil. Does it take a lot of flowers to produce a little bit of oil? It does, it takes, this basket holds about 10 pounds of just the flowers. And out of that, we'll get about 150 milliliters from the aromatic. That's a, it's a little bottle, right? It's, it's a tiny little bottle. It's probably a quarter cup versus a cup and a half. 
Well, we're here in the shop with Mrs. Lowry. Sherry with Mike owns the lavender farm and she's responsible for making a lot of these cool things that you make with the lavender oil. Tell us about some of these things. Well, everything on the top shelf is actually made here on site. Um, one of my favorites is Zoe's Lavender Dog Shampoo. I think Bowie would really like this. Um, and then probably my next favorite is like the lip balm chapstick um, and the shower gel, I think. And then my very favorite, even though it's not made here, are these little animals and inside their bellies is lavender. So you can put your child to bed with it. It's very calming. You can warm it up and um, tuck them in. And I have this, this is for you. So you can have your very own lavender shortbread cookies. <laughs> Ooh, I do love these cookies. I have to say you've another product that you haven't mentioned that is my favorite. Do you know what it is? I don't. It starts with a B. No idea. Brownie. Oh, yes. We do make lavender brownies with our culinary lavender oil, and they are delicious, as well as lavender lemonade and lavender gelato. Again, the Lowry's have been so generous in opening their place up to all of us, and you're welcome to come out, uh, whether in the season when the flowers are in bloom or right now, just to come out and sit by the river, enjoy reading a book, let the kids play in the uh, the river. It's a great, relaxing, fun place to be. Well, thank you very much for showing us all these cool things and for the cookies. Hit me up later. Maybe I'll share them with you. One of the reasons that Bowie so enjoys visiting here on the farm is that he gets to visit his friend Zoe. That's right, this is Bowie and that's Zoe. Zoe is the farm dog here. Uh, Mrs. Lowry, what does Zoe enjoy doing here on the farm? I think Zoe's favorite thing to do on the farm is to alert us when we have visitors. She is a great barker. Zoe, do you have anything to add to that? She says no comment, so, but she's a good watchdog. Maybe some other dogs could learn a few lessons. I love your haircut. Well, I know that Bowie has really enjoyed his visit to the farm here today. It's fun to see how God has creatively engineered things for our enjoyment and his glory, like these beautiful flowers. I remember that Jesus pointed out that these flowers are so beautiful and they grow so nicely. And yet the Lord, he says, takes even better care of us. For that reason, why should we ever be anxious? Why should we ever worry? If, after all, the Lord cares for things like flowers and animals like birds and, yes, border collies, then what have we to be concerned about? We can always trust the Lord, even when times are hard and challenges are difficult. Well, thank you for watching. It's been fun visiting with you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Me and Bowie, that is. Bye-bye. Okay, you look at the camera, man. Do you remember this? This is your cousin. Wow. When I watch the movie films. <laughs> <laughs>